Welcome back. Now that we've got our landscape all beautifully created, the next thing we're going to need to do is get some materials on there. However, at the moment, we don't have any of those materials. So this step is going to be all about how we use Fab, which is Unreal Engine's marketplace for game assets, how we use that to get the materials that we will need. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing we're going to need to do is to get access to Fab. And there are a couple of ways to do that. And we need to do that through the Epic Games Launcher. So if we just open that up, here it is. And you can see up at the top here, there is a tab called Fab. Little, little rhyme there. Uh, so if we just open that up, the first way to do this is to click on this. And that will open up a web browser. And you can explore the marketplace here. But I want to do it a different way. I want to use the plugin directly within Unreal Engine. So in order to do that, we need to go over to our library tab in the Epic Games Launcher. And then if we scroll down to this section here, Fab Library, what we need to do is to find the Fab plugin. So up here where it says search, if we just type Fab, you then get Fab UE plugin. And then if you click on install to engine, it will ask you which version of the engine you want to install it to. I'm currently working in 5.5, .5, so I'll choose that one and then click on install. So then it downloads, and once it's downloaded, it will install itself into that version of the engine. And that's finished, so we can now return to Unreal Engine. So as I check this now, so I'm gonna open my content drawer, and I should at this stage be able to see the Fab plugin here. It's not yet there, so that means that what I'll need to do now is restart the engine so the plugin can load. So let's close this down, make sure you save everything first. So click on save all, close it down, and now my project's reopened. It's opened back in the old level. So let's just open the new level I created. And now I will be able to access all of the fab content directly within Unreal Engine. And what we're going to do is just open the content drawer. So let's open that up. And you can see that up here, just next to the add button, there is an icon that says fab. That's how we open the fab marketplace. So we'll click on that. And you can see for me, it just took me straight in because I've used it before. You might need to sign in. You can see up here, it's showing that I am signed in so that it knows that it's me and that I can have the stuff. So if it does ask you to sign in, just use the same account that you use to download Unreal Engine and you'll get access. Right, let's get some materials then. So I'm going to start by just searching up here. So there's the search bar and I'm going to search for quarry. So like that. And there are a lot of assets here that are perfect for what we need. However, some of these are paid, like Quarry Cliff there. Uh, and I don't want to pay anything. And I don't want you to have to pay anything for these. So what we're going to do is up here where it says price, we're just going to filter it by free. Like that. And then we're looking for three specific materials. Now, you can actually choose whatever materials you want here. I'm just going to show you the three that I want. So if I just scroll down slightly, I'm looking for one that's called Rocky Ground. And it's this one just here, Rocky Ground. So I'll click on that and it says that I can add it to a project. You get some previews of it. There's lots of information. And what I want to do for this is keep the quality to medium. I don't want to go any higher than that with these. So then I'm just going to click on add to project. So it will then download it. You can see that's happening here. And once that download is finished, it imports it and it will open up our content browser to show you where it's gone. And we can see it's mega scans, services, rocky ground gets a funny folder, then medium is the quality we wanted, and then here are the files. It's these three that we're interested in. However, they've got a ridiculous name that's going to make them hard to find. So I'm going to rename them now. So I'm just going to get this first one. I'll right click and go to rename. And I'm going to keep the T underscore at the beginning, but then the collection of letters after that, which is those there, I'm going to rename to rocky ground like that. And I'm also just going to copy Rocky Ground there so I don't have to type it two more times. And there's that one renamed. I'll just do the same with this one. So it's just this collection of letters in the middle there that I'm going to replace. And this final one here. And just there we go. So I've now imported those textures. And we're all good. Now we do have this one here, which is our color. Sometimes it's called diffuse or base color. In this case, the underscore B at the end denotes that it's base color. 
we've got underscore n, which is the normal, and then we've got underscore o r m, which is occlusion, roughness, and metallic. And we're only really going to be using the roughness when it comes to it, but that's what we call a packed texture, which we'll get to when we start building the material. Uh, but for now, we just need to get the other two. So I'll close that for now. I'm just going to go back up here. And now I'm going to be looking for one that's called gravel ground. Uh, and there are some different ones here. And I actually like this one. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose, but I know that I already enjoy this one. It makes me happy. So I'm going to download that one now. And you can see it's gravelly, but not too gravelly. Don't want to overdo it. So I'll just click on add to project and it'll do exactly the same. So downloads, adds to the content browser, and then I'm just going to rename it. So I'll rename this one first. And I'm going to call this one gravel ground. And then I'll rename the other two. And that's now done. You can see I've got three textures all start t underscore gravel ground and then we can tell which is which so that's that one done and the final one i want is called layered rock cliff so let's find that one and it should also show up in the same search there it is i like this guy here so add to project it's now imported so i'm just going to rename this one i'm just going to call this one layered rock like that And then I'll rename the other two. And there we go. We've now got all the textures that we need. So for the time being, at least I'm done with fab. So I'll close that down. And then I'll just show you where these are now located in the content drawer. So because we've used fab, it's now created a fab folder for us. So we can go into there. These are Megascans assets, which is uh, and like another company that Epic owns. We can go into there and then we've got surfaces and there are our three different ones. So in the next step, we're going to look at how we use those three groups of textures and we're going to create what's called a landscape layer blend material. And that's going to allow us to put different materials in different parts of this landscape. So I will see you in the next step for that. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.